My name is Frances Quinlan and I live in West Philadelphia. Well, both of my parents are, are big music fans. They're not musicians, but they got me into a lot of people at a young age, um, like Cat Stevens and Bob Dylan and the Kinks. Uh, both of my brothers are musicians. Um, my, you know, brother Mark, who I play with now. Uh, but my brother Andrew, my oldest brother, is the one that got me into playing music. He uh, took me. Well, he used to record with me when I was about like 14 years old, and I was just like writing, you know embarrassing song lyrics and stuff and so we recorded on his four track together and he took me to get my first guitar it was this purple thing I got at like a flea market in Quakertown Pennsylvania and ever since then uh, in high school some friends of my, some friends of mine gave me the nickname hop along and uh, I just turned that into a, a moniker and started you know writing songs on my own on guitar and my brother Andrew kept helping me record and then I finally just started recording myself with other people and uh, then got the band together and have been playing with the band ever since. Oh, I mean, I think Philly uh, has had a surprisingly growing community. I didn't really know much of, uh, about the Philly music scene. I lived in Baltimore when I first started really getting into playing shows uh, and I had a friend living here and then my brother moved here and we decided to start a band together and then I just started meeting people in Philly. Uh, there's a warehouse very close to here called Big Mama's Warehouse that does screen printing and recording and practicing. Like they have a, a practice space that everyone there uses and they were some of the first people I met here. Super encouraging, artistic, um, wild people and uh, you know I sometimes do vocals for people um, I just hang with a lot of bands in Philly and, you know, always doing stuff with my with my band. Pretty um pretty committed at this point, practicing every week and doing shows and things like that. Uh female artists in general, I've become a huge uh Nina Simone fan just because she does it all. She's incredible. Um, a band that I got to meet over the past few years, P.S. Elliot. Um, they recently gone on to form other uh, projects, but that was how I first met them, and they blew me away. The Crutchfield Twins, the band Y Oak, uh, the writer Flannery O'Connor, Joni Mitchell, um, you know Bjork. I just, no, nothing's helped me more than uh, writing as often as possible and, and thinking about how everything, because uh, that's how you grow, is just by thinking about your experiences and the experience of, of other people around you and um, forming your own conclusions from that or questions and those can make, some of the best songs are just questions that people have and, uh, you know, and not, and, and just making it about the song, serving the song. Uh, that's, uh, you know, whatever people might think of what you're doing, I mean, you're always growing if you're always serving something you believe in. Because uh, I'm still doing what I believe in. That's, uh, you know, anyone that does that, I think, anyone that can stand behind what they do, it's great. <laughs>